This is Intuitive Edge. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I'm just going to talk for a little bit about the power of prayer. But first I want to talk for a little bit about Dr. Bandy Lee. I don't know if any of you, I'm sure you have heard of her. <laughs> I did a video a while back and I was really frustrated. She is um, a professor of psych psychology or psychiatry, I'm not sure which one, but anyway, at a prominent university. And she's been going around the country. She is convinced that Donald Trump is um, mentally impaired and a danger to the country. And she's been on TV and she's written a book and she's been going on speaking tours and talking, you know, without, without having met Do Donald Trump personally to evaluate him. She's said that she, through her expertise, knows enough to evaluate his mental status. Now, if you're like me, you recognize that the attacks against Donald Trump have been prolific um, ever since he announced he was running. Funny nobody ever brought up this before he ran for president, but I digress. Um, now, I did a video on her a while back where I was really frustrated and just like grr <laughs> and then I did a tarot and it kind of I had to stop and kind of change my tune a little bit now um not in ter not in terms of defending Donald Trump but in how I perceive her Dr. Lee so let me explain um now I I came to the realization when I did a tarot spread that she truly believes her own jargon, her own lingo, her own stuff. She truly believes that Donald Trump is this danger and that she needs to alert the world to this danger that she sees. She really believes it. And I also saw in the tarot that she's not coming from a place of malice. And I had to really sit with that and go, okay, this is strange. She's, she's, not, she's not doing it to be mean or spiteful. She's doing it, her, her convictions are that she's right and she's doing it for, in what she sees as the right motive, okay? So, Consciousness, our consciousness is all about our motive, who we are on the inside, what motivates us, okay? Your conscious level is about who you are at your core. And so I had to, I had to admit from what I saw intuitively that she's actually a good person, however misguided I think she may be, right? So that was a challenge for me. Because I, I was all ready to just, you know, slam this person. You know, how dare she, you know, <laughs> try to mentally evaluate someone without seeing them. And she's a disgrace to her profession and whatnot, whatnot. Um, but I had to rein that in. And, and I had to go, she's going by her own heart that is actually not terrible. Okay, she's not a bad person. <laughs> I was all ready to say she's a bad person. She's not a bad person. So I've sat with that for a while. Now, yesterday, I guess she's been um, back in the news again. She went on, uh, I think, Brian Stelter's show, CNN. She's been on some of the other um, primetime TV news networks. And she's all, you know, talking how Donald Trump is this danger and she needs to tell the world. Um well, she went on a conservative radio show yesterday, and I happened to have that on at the house, and I was listening. And, of course, the conservative is not going to just give her a pass and let her say whatever she wants because, you know, he's going to challenge her, and he did. And it was interesting hearing her. And I got to thinking, you know, if I could have been the interviewer, I would have loved to have said something like to Bandy Lee, Dr. Lee, have you ever considered that you 
might be wrong. <laughs> you know, nobody, I don't know if anybody's ever asked her that. Have you ever considered that just maybe in all of your analysis and all of the schooling that you've had, that maybe there's a piece you're missing and maybe you might be wrong? I wonder if she's ever thought of that. And I also thought, you know, somebody like her, if she's if she's got a good heart, she's not a bad person, okay? If she's got a good heart, then it's like, I can work with this. I can work with this in my own heart, in my own mind. I can work with this. So I took it to prayer and decided to pray. And I, when I pray, I like to see the person that I'm praying for in my mind that if if they're if they've got a good piece in there maybe there's some clutter that's you know the holding it back or holding it at bay and that just needs to grow if there's a good place to begin with it just needs to come out right and truth the spirit of truth i believe the truth is can be manifest as a spirit. There is a spirit of truth when we pray and invite truth to come into a situation. That's what I that's what I felt myself compelled to do is to pray for the spirit of truth to come in. And since she's got that good heart, it would seem like it shouldn't be too much for that truth to marry with that good heart of hers and expound into tr into greater truth. Greater truth about Donald Trump, greater truth about herself and her and her inner world. You know, why why this need to have to, you know, save the world from this person that she perceives as a danger. What is that doing in her? Why is that there? So, I took it to prayer. And as I prayed for her, um, as I pictured her in my mind, I saw some things intuitively. And I prayed, it did some work, some inner, some spiritual work in the ether to help to invite the spirit of truth to come in and work with that, that I saw. It was like, I don't know if I want to explain this here. I almost saw like branches of a tree that were on her head. And I almost saw like inside the brain, you know, when you've got the synapses and the neurons and they're firing, your, you know, your brain is so active. And it was almost like this tree with all these little branches going in and actually redirecting the neurons. It was, an, it was an icky feeling. It was like redirecting neurons to firing things to think a certain way that wasn't in line with the truth. And so I prayed with that in mind. I prayed for the spirit of truth to come in and for that to be broken and for those branches to be removed. Now, I invited also, as I prayed, um, the angels that protect Donald Trump. They're interested, I would think, in the spirit of truth, showing who he really is, and not this idea that someone has about him. And wouldn't it be great to have the truth come out, whatever that truth is? So I prayed also for not my will, but God's will for her. And I knew in my heart that I didn't have anything ill toward her, wishing any ill toward her or anything like that, but only that she would be full of health, full of vibrant life and that the spirit of truth would be manifest in her life pushing her and guiding her and helping her 
And so I'm optimistic that we may see some things, maybe. It may not be next week or next year, but something I believe will, good will come of this. And some might say, but you didn't have permission to pray for her. Well, <laughs> you always have permission to pray, always. That's your connection to God, that's your right. You have that right to pray. And as long as you come from a place where you're not praying when you're angry at someone, <laughs> you know, pray for that person, come from a good place in your heart where you know that you're not wishing that person ill will, you're not angry, you've, you're truly coming from a place of love for that person. And then whatever comes to your mind, that's what spirit is showing you to pray for. And that's what I did. And in the end, it's up to God and her to work out whatever needs to be in place for her to align with the greater spirit of truth and to see what possibilities exist for her. I think it could be very powerful for her in the future that as the spirit of truth comes in and kind of shows her herself and others could be very, very powerful. Maybe even radically change the profession she's in. Perhaps to where there's no diagnosing people without thorough scientific data to base that on which includes meeting with a person, I would think, but that's just me. <laughs> me and many others. <laughs> so when you pray, I guess I say all that to say this, come from a place of love. If you're praying for another person, you have that right to pray for someone else. Uh, I know there's some people that say you don't, but I don't believe that. If you're motivated by love and only the best for that person, we need to be praying for each other. We need to pray for people. You know, instead of just stewing and being mad about something in the news like I was at first, <laughs> it's kind of ticked off. And then I saw, you know what? She's got a good heart. She's not coming from a place of malice. Maybe I just need to pray for her that she'll come to that realization on her own. And that the spirit of truth can guide her and help her. You know, it's not for me to do, but certainly help me feel better. It's like I can pray and release it to God and know that God, that my prayers go out. Our prayers have power. Especially when they're done with good intent and love. So. All right. Let me know what you think in the comments about prayer. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.